Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's Redbox Games here once again with part two. Last time we took a look at the intro and an awesome sing-along song that they put into this game. I really enjoy that song, guys. And right now, welcome back. We're gonna get to the real brunt of the game. Welcome to Fossil Park Asia, home to the Warden Headquarters, floats on the Pacific Ocean. And right now, a very special guest is about to arrive at Warden HQ. Who could that be? In pursuit of a long, lifelong dream, this guest has passed the initial examination and is now a candidate to become a full-fledged warden. With a heart of full hope, you begin your adventure. Oh, is that us? Are we the special guests now? Oh, hi there. Welcome to Warden HQ. First off, we need you to register yourself in our database. Alright, let's do that. Okay, so choose your gender. We're gonna go with male. <laughs> you know, because I'm a dude and all. Okay. Next, enter your name. Jura. You know what? Let's go with that. They gave us the name Jura. By the way, if any of you guys want to see the bottom screen, which I don't think is necessary for this game, but if you do, just leave it down in the comments. Um, I think this game is just better with just the top screen because there just isn't much to see on the bottom screen. But anyways, right oh, let's see what we have here. My name, I chose the name Jura, J-U-R-A, by the way. So you're Jura, the new warden candidate, huh? Since this is your first time here, let me show you around the lobby. Yeah, we are gonna be the new dinosaur guide. First of all, I'm the receptionist here at Fossil Park Asia. I track new registrations and that sort of thing. Okay. The woman over there on the left is in charge of the help desk. She pretty much knows everything, so don't be afraid to talk to her if you ever run into trouble. We actually have a lot of helpful staff members floating about, so make sure to say hi when you get the chance. So then, I take it you are here to attend today's Warden Candidate meeting? The other candidates have already gathered in the captain's office. So we're a captain or so I'd hustle if I were you. So we're a captain or what? The captain's office is on the top floor of this building. Alright, let's go ahead. You can use the elevator behind me to get there. I'll indeed do that. I'll indeed do Hey, here's some free advice. When moving around a park, you can open the menu with X. From there, you can save your progress. Okay, so X is our menu button. No, seriously, the last bit was important. Whatever you want to save, open the menu with X. Okay, gotcha. Alright, let's go up. Captain's office. We can't do anything until we get the orders from the captain. Alright, there's a bunch of people here. Which one of you is the captain? Oh hey look! Look who finally decided to show up! Rookie. And... I was under the impression that we would have 8 candidates. Is someone still not here? Out of the way, I'm running late! Oh, someone else is here. Sorry, so sorry. Apologies all around. Milo ran off with my alarm clock this morning. Milo's my dog, see? Good dog, but yeah, he likes to steal machinery. My clock, my wristwatch, my awesome miniature robot, my grandpa's pacemaker. He snatches it up, runs back to his doghouse and slobbers all over it. Seriously weird. Don't ask me why. What's the deal? Why is everyone looking at me? Can it already? No one cares. Yeah, that's true. We don't care. We care about the dinosaurs. Ah, it's okay. The captain isn't even here yet. Oh, I see. The captain isn't here. For real? Man, that's a relief. Alright, where's the captain? I think it's this man. Oh, it's that guy. The codename Steam guy we saw in the beginning of the intro, I think. Sorry to keep everyone waiting. Hello kids and friends, we're gonna be making dinosaurs today. <laughs> nice to meet you all, I'm the leader of the Wardens, Captain Stryker. I'm a manly man, that's who I am. You're the man who saved the world, it's a real honor to meet you sir. Thank you. Alright, so, what's your orders Captain? Right. 
time for roll call. First up, Penny. Here, sir. Roland. There. Dahlia. Rocking and rolling, sir. Leon. Uh. Nate. Oh, hey, Captain. I'm right here. Right here. We're totally ready to go. Yamamoto. The only Asian kid. <laughs> Prison and accounted for. Said day. Crikey, mate. Got me dig already do. I'll warm up to play some Watson Matilda for ya. Okay then, and last on the list, Jura. Here, sir, from Planet Mars. I don't think Jura is a you know a totally a uh, global Earth name, so I just said that. <laughs> you are all chosen to be here today because of your exceptional performance on the third test. But though you all show great promise, you still have plenty to prove if you want to join the wardens. First off, we're going to show you the basic skills needed for this job. This includes bone buggy operation, as well as fossil excavation and vivasaur revival. In fact, you'll be required to use the vivasaurs you revived to pass your warden test. I know this is a lot to take in, but I trust you all can handle it. Crikey! Saw so, ya yeah, jackaroos look seriously brumble bucked up by the words revival and vivasaur. Well, throw a shrimp on the barbie and let me give you a straight ear bashing. Come now, none of us would be here if we didn't understand something that basic. Revival refers to the act of resurrecting excavated fossils into living dinosaurs. Such res resurrected dinosaurs are called vivasaurs. And then there are bone buggies, which wardens drive around dig sites in search of a new fossil to dig out. The new revived Vivasaurs can then compete against each other in contests known as fossil battles, or also known as Pokemon battles. And that's it, see? Simple. Now is everyone up to speed? Because we need to get moving, I want to become a warden and do my part to protect this place. And protect the future of humanity. Thank you Yamamoto, your enthusiasm is impressive. But he's right, you don't have time to idle chatter. The warden test is daunting, to say the least. However, if I didn't believe in each and every one of you, you wouldn't be standing here right now. The first order of business is to become familiar with your bone buggies. Leave this building and head just past the large mechanical dinosaur in the open square outside. There, you'll find the bone buggy depot, or what we call the garage. An instructor will be waiting for you. Speak to him to proceed. Good luck to everyone, and let's be cautious out there. Dismissed. You're acquired a light 4WD bone buggy for the next stage of your training. Alright, we get to drive at the age of 6. Hell yeah! <laughs> Alright, come on. I'm just messing around with you guys. Ooh, I'm nervous as wreck here. My hands are still shaking, my knees too. I mean, it's not every day you meet someone as famous as Captain Striker. Yeah, I was, uh... I was nervous too. I know, right? I think it's normal to be nervous when you meet someone like that. Glad I wasn't the only one. Anyway, you probably heard this roll call, but my name's Penny. Nice to meet you, Jura. Yeah, I'm Jura from Planet Mars. Remember that. I'm not from Planet Earth. You hear me? All right, let's go to the next lesson. All right. Okay, let's go to the garage. Get to the bone buggy. I can't wait to drive one of these bone buggies. Here we go. Oh, you're Jura, right? You here for the driving lesson? Me too. Bone buggies are the best. They're the main reason I want to be a warden, actually. It's my dream to cruise around in a bone buggy for hours and going faster and faster and faster. What do you think? I actually agree with you. I definitely like driving. Yes, I knew you'd understand. I like you already. I mean, it's cool enough that they have excavation arms. But they also have engine, engines, sorry my guy, my bad guys, I messed up that word there. Engines, tires, and a bunch of other parts that are totally customizable. Oh, and if you become a warden, you get to compete in time attacks. So sweet. I'm totally freaking out here. Okay, breathe, girl. Breathe. Sorry, I'm such a gearhead sometimes. Well, I'm off to my lesson, see you around. I'm off to my lesson too, girl. Let's go. Oh, man. It looks like Bruce Lee or... 
somebody, Jet Li. <laughs> Love his kung, kung fu outfit, or maybe that's his kung fu outfit, I'm not sure. Let's talk to him. Hello there, I'm Leo Ren, I'll be your instructor today. Are you ready to begin your lesson? I'm about to teach you kung fu and all the arts of Asia. Yes, I am so ready for that. Then hop in your bone buggy and let's get this show on the road. Okay, Leo Ren. Master Leo Ren, teach me how to kung fu. Because I like to know how- I know how to do karate, but you know, you want- you know, I don't know how to do kung fu, so... Just saying. Par Paradise Beach. First, a quick bit of important advice. You can't save while out at a dig site. Hold up. I thought they said we can save during the... Okay, I guess- okay, I see what they mean. Which means you can't save during this lesson either. So hang tight until you're back at the fossil park, okay? Now, are you ready to begin? Alright, before that, allow me to introduce your assistant. This is your brand new state-of-the-art onboard navigation system, better known as VROOM. VRO. Greetings, my job is to support fighters from within our integrated network. I look forward to serving you, Master. Excellent. Now, how about we get this lesson started? First, take a look over here. Okay, so accelerate is A, brake is B, steer. Okay, basic stuff. That was a basic rundown of how your bo bo bone buggy operates. Now press A and try driving around. All right, guys, Mario Kart already. This is what I'm talking about. Let's collect these. The glowing balls you're picking up are called energy spheres. If you pick those up, your bone buggy's performance will improve a bit. Ah, I see. Now, can we shoot that dinosaur? See that vivasaur? Okay, I guess they're called vivasaurs, not dinosaurs. I put him there myself. I want you to use your bone buggy to chase him down. So why the hell are these dinosaurs? Have these guys not learned anything from Jurassic Park? You don't want dinosaurs running around free on the island. I mean, you know, what if they kill us? You know what I'm saying? Kill everybody. Don't worry if you lose sight of him. This course loops around, so he'll eventually show up again if you wait. Oh yeah, get on that boost. That's what I'm talking about, Patchy. Great, you caught up with him. We're just showing you how things work, so you don't actually have to fight him. Usually though, you'll go straight into battle anytime you run into a vivasaur. What the hell? I thought we were supposed to keep these dinosaurs safe. Here's a couple more nice little bone buggy techniques, by the way. Uh, drift. Okay, pivot. I understand. These tricks make uh, getting around curves a lot easier. Next, let's try searching for some fossils. We'll use the fossil sonar equipped on your bone buggy to scan the area. First, let's head out for that flashing red light icon on the bottom navigational screen. Alright, why don't we do that, sir? So, can I get off this stupid track then? I mean, the map is clearly telling us that this is not the way to go, but I guess we should follow the road. I mean, just to pick up these things. And boy, is this car slow, guys. Uh, this car could definitely go faster. But I guess, uh, you know, in the end, we can get some upgrades that'll help us out. But, uh, yeah, let's just finish this track. Uh, definitely not a hard track to get around through. Alright, let's, let's go over. Can I go over? I don't understand how I'm supposed to go over. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, there's some kind of brown road. I missed one of these white things, but it's not a big deal. Alright, so we're supposed to go through here. I'm looking at the minimap on the bottom screen. Okay, so we're gonna go to that red zone. Alright, we're almost there. Okay, here we go, guys. Here's our... Here's the spot we want to go to. Alright. You made it! In the area just ahead, you'll find three types of Vivasaur fossils hidden away. For the purposes of this lesson, you won't lose any fossils you fail to dig up, so don't worry too much about your performance. Just go out there and do your best, okay? To use your fossil sonar, press L. Now let's kick off the search. Okay, let's go find some fossils, baby! That's what I'm talking about! Okay, so I'm just... I'm, I don't know where I'm supposed to hit my L button. Oh, there's one! There's one! So our sonar has picked up one. Fossil right here. Let's go to it. Let's go to it. So what am I supposed to do? Oh, there we go. Well done! You've tracked down a fossil! Let's get right to digging, shall we? You don't even have to leave your bone buggy. Oh, we don't have to leave our bone buggy. That's interesting. Alright. First, let me explain how digging controls work. This number is your battery strength. It's basically the amount of time you have to complete your excavation. Okay, so we got like 60 seconds. 
If the blue meter reaches this white marker before the battery time hits zero, you will uh, successfully excavate the fossil. Tap the x-ray icon on the bottom of the screen to briefly view the fossil's position. Let's do that. The green area shows the part of the fossil that's still buried beneath the rock. Okay, I see. By navigating the bottom screen, you can carve through the stone and remove the fossil from its rocky prison. Okay. Ah, so you just dig it up. Tap the tool icons to switch between the tools you currently have equipped. Use the hammer when trying to break up the large expanses of rock. Let's do that, guys. Let's do that. Okay, so they're already doing everything for us. What is this? And use the drill when you want to carve away smaller, finer regions of the rock. Okay, I see. I hope this isn't too complicated or anything. Use your tools to be... Uh, sorry, my bad. Use your tools to the fullest and you'll be digging up fossils in no time. Now, let's have you give it a try. Let's do that. Let's dig this up. Alright, so my first time doing it, hopefully I don't mess this up. But here we go, guys. Okay, so you basically just tap everywhere. I'm, I'm using the hammer right now, no drill. Um, and I'm wondering if I even need the drill in fact. That was really easy, guys. I didn't even use a drill. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. They said to use a drill for uh, cutting out the finer parts on the edges, right? They didn't even need to do that. Excavation complete. Specimen Lophus MN head fossil. This is the first fossil you've seen from the Vivasaur commencing revival. All right. So I guess we're um, rebuilding these dinosaurs, I guess, from the fossil. And what's going on? Oh, we got a baby dinosaur, Lophus MN. Okay, it's a herbivore, and uh, I don't, I don't really know what else to say about this. A new Vivasaur is now available. All right, a low FP, high accuracy skill, best against rare facing foes. Not sure what that means, but later on we'll probably find out. Superb digging. The revival is complete. The Vivasaurs you revival become valuable partners during your travels. You'll store them in small devices called Dino Gears. Let's keep searching. There might be some other fossils lurking nearby. Once you've had enough, we can head back to the fossil park. The fossil park entrance is right here. Alright. Hey, you know what? I'm wondering. Okay, I'm wondering if it can move back. Okay, that's how you move backwards. Um, let's see if I can save right now. Can I save right now? Um, nope, you can't. Actually, we have to get out of here first. That's right. I remember him saying, you're not allowed to save here. I was trying to save just in case, but that's fine. That is fine. Uh, let's just go back to the park and see what happens. Uh, they said to find three fossils or whatever, but... I mean, I don't... I don't... I just want to see what happens. And I don't think it's necessary to find the fossils yet. Because I see something flashing on the map. And they want us to get out of here. So I'm out of here now. And look, a rude vivasaur. Oh my god. We gotta fight that thing. What does a root vivasaur mean? Does that mean it's like a bad dinosaur or what? Root vivasaurs are vivasaurs that go astray after they've been revived. Oh, we call them roots for short. Finding and securing them is another important duty of the wardens. This was bound to happen sooner or later. Later, try to stand and fight. Alright, let's beat this guy in a duel. Don't worry, I'll show you how it's done. You're going down, son. You're gonna be mad. Alright, battle. <laughs> Alright, let's battle. Let's do this, guys. Oh, wow, that baby dinosaur is ours now. Wow, that's interesting. The fossil battle has begun. It's your turn to attack. Select the skill for your Vivasaur to use and then a root Vivasaur to attack. Okay, so it's a lot like Pokemon here. Battering Ram. Uh, let's go and do that. Lopus NM is using Battering Ram. Well done! Uh, so he's got 54 health bar now. He's using the Face Ripper. And 18 damage. Not bad either. Not bad. Round two. Looks like Lopus MN lost some LP. Try firing on an LP recovery support shot to help it find help it find out. 
Whenever a skill is being executed, the support panel will show up on the top screen for a brief period of time. That's your chance to strike. Go ahead, try pressing Y button to launch an LP recovery support shot this next turn. Just remember the support panel won't be up there for long, so you'll have to act fast. Okay, where's the support? Okay, I don't see the support thing. Alright, I'm just gonna attack. I don't see the support for some reason. Just press I. Or Y, my bad. But we'll just attack him. Oh, I see. Well, that didn't quite work out as planned. Why not try again this next turn? You'll fire uh, LP recovery while defending too. I don't understand. I can't. I don't see it. You're also equipped with attack up support shots, you know? Use them when it's your turn to strike to give your Vivasaurus attack a boost. Support shots can be a real boon during battle, so don't be afraid to experiment. Okay, here's the thing, dude. I don't know where your... I don't know where the support is. Oh, I see. Okay, so in the middle of battle, you have to press the Y button. Okay, so that's what I missed out on. Let's do that again. Battering ram. Okay, I can't press Y here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so you just have to hold the Y button in the middle of the fight. Superb, you defeated the Rogue! A victory to us! Six points. So yeah, this is, a, uh, I guess, a lot like Pokemon in a way. You know, you fight with monsters or Vivasaurs, receive uh, experience points for winning battles. As they gain experience, their rank goes up, which in turn makes them stronger. In other words, the more you battle, the stronger your Vivasaurs can get. So fight as often as you can. In any case, we should probably head back to the fossil part. Alright, Leo Ren, I'll be back. The fossilery is now accessible from the title screen. To view it, save your game inside the fossil park and then head back out to the title screen. Gotcha. Welcome back. Before we finish, let me tell you a bit more about support shots. You can use support shots while you're fighting too, right? The good news is you don't have to worry about ever using them up. They get replenished automatically whenever you return to the park, so don't be afraid to fire away. Anyway, that concludes today's lesson. The other candidates are still driving around, so maybe a bit before they get back. Why don't you wait back at the Warden HQ until they finish? Thank you, Master Leo Ren. You have taught me a lot today. Alright, guys. Alright, we had uh, quite a bit of a long episode today, but you know what? First of all, I'd like to thank all of you guys that have checked out the first and the second video of this series. It does help this channel grow. And remember to rate, comment, and subscribe because I do highly appreciate that. So thank you guys once again. I'll be back with more of this awesome game. Uh, I'm So far, I'm, I'm having fun with it. You know, it's like a... Uh, Pokemon Digimon type of RPG um, and you know it's got some cool mining dinosaur fossils and stuff so I find that pretty cool as well I hope you guys are enjoying this game as well go check it out if you haven't already and uh, yeah anyways guys peace out have a great one I'll be back with more see ya everybody